Welcome to another live broadcast. My name is Isaiah Phillips Akintola. I want to bless the Lord for another glorious month. Amen. This is the first of the month of August. We want to thank God for his mercy, his love, his goodness, his kindness that never fails. It's a beautiful day. It's a day of his mercy. It's a day of his love. It's a day of his power. It's a day of the manifestation of his intentions in the earth. We are in the midst of a powerful prophetic uh, activity, shaping and realigning uh, at the sphere that nations are engaging. And of course, we are advancing in the light of the present truth. There is a declaration, a manifestation, a proclamation that the Father desire, amen, us to carry out in this season. And we will not, amen, look back or draw back until we see to the fulfillment of God's prophetic intention. I want to welcome you this morning, wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you're going to be joining from this morning. This is the day of the Lord. This is the day of his life. This is a day of his power. It's a day of his majesty. It's a day of his glory. Wherever you are this morning, let us continue, amen, to advance in the light of the present truth. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again for this glorious day. We celebrate you this morning. We celebrate the intentions of your heart. We celebrate, yes, the revelation of your son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior. Yes, yes, who has given to us his breath, his life. And through him this day, oh God, we have seen the light of another day, the light of another month, the month of August. We get ourselves ready and we prepare. As spiritual people, we understand, oh God, our journey in you and through you. And so, Father, once again, we hear the counsel of your voice, the counsel of your desire. We hear the voice of your spirit. Yes, we, we hear the roar of your spirit telling us we need to be well positioned in this season and time. Yes, so we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that our heart will continually, oh God, yes, move towards the direction and the intentions of your voice, oh God. Yes. Yes, your word says, for my sheep, they hear my voice. A stranger's voice, they will not follow. Thank you, Lord, that we have once again come into that arena, into that sphere, into that atmosphere where we can better hear your heart, your mind for our life, for our home, family, ministry, for our community, for our time, for our generation. We thank you, Lord, that as you speak to us, we declare in the name of Jesus that we will respond in accordance to your will. We bless you, Lord. We glorify your name. We ask you, Lord, to have your way. Take your place. Fill us. Let our fountains be filled with all of you this morning. Let our fountain be filled with all of you this morning. You are the one that we desire. You are the desire of the nation. So I thank you once again this morning as you continue to steer our heart towards your prophetic path, towards your prophetic mandate. Lord, we adjust. Yes, Father, we adjust. We adjust. We lay down every superfluity of nothingness. We lay down, oh God, yes, this morning, every weight and sin that can stop us, the distractions, oh God, that the enemy has positioned to try to, yes, uh, topple us and, and, and cause us to, 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 to to trip and fall. We declare in the name of Jesus this morning that our path is light this morning. Yes, that our pathway is light up this morning. Yes, Father. Thank you, Lord, that we journey with light, O oh God. Yes, Father. We carry for this day the light of your spirit. We go forth, O oh God. Your word declares that the spirit of the man of the man is a candlelight, is your candlelight, is your is is the light that you use. Yes, yes, in bringing forth your intentions and direction to nations. So we thank you this morning that you will lead us in the light of your spirit. You will guide us, Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever it is that the enemy want to use or is already planning to use to lead us astray. We thank you, Lord, that as you minister to us in this place, as we come up to a new realm, a new reality, a new position in the spirit, where we can have a better insight, a better understanding, where we can hear clearly. Father, we are able to engage. We thank you this morning. We declare in the name of Jesus that we are undressed and we are being redressed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that we come this morning with a, a plain white robe. We lay aside in the name of Jesus, whatever it is that is not of you. 
We come with a heart ready. We come with a heart prepared. We come with a mind ready. We cast down this morning imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. We declare that the battle is in the mind. We refuse to give in to the lies of the enemy this morning. Father, we thank you that your spirit will continue to steer our heart as we hear, as we respond. Father, in the name of Jesus, in obedience, your kingdom, Father, will be manifest. These are the days of the manifestation of your kingdom. Yes, Father, we proclaim claim we declare in the name of Jesus ha, that your your name is being hallowed in the in the in the in the earth your power your glory is being manifest we thank you this morning that there is nothing that can stop what you have ordained may you be exalted may you be glorified may you love this morning be, be, be exalted in our life yes father we declare that morning that we diminish that you Lord Christ may increase or the increase and peace of his kingdom, there shall be no end. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Thank you, O oh God, that your word is life. You create the world that we see today by the power of your word. In the beginning, your word declares that you said, let there be light. And that light has continued to create and to uphold that which you've created. We thank you, Lord, this morning that we are sons and daughters of light. We have come, Lord, once again to hear, to listen, to respond, O oh God, to the things that you are saying. You said, let those who are the ears hear what the Spirit is saying. You are speaking in this hour. You are proclaiming, you are declaring, yes, an intention. You are exhibiting, you are manifesting something that you want us to know, to respond to. And therefore, we declare this morning, we lay aside the distraction and we focus on what your heart, what your mind is saying. We focus on what you are proclaiming for our life, for our home. Yes, for this new month. Yes, we know, oh God, that you do not live in the chronos of man, but you use the chronos of man to advance your prophetic intention. And therefore, we do not take this day, we do not take this month for granted. We understand Oh God, that the, the plans of the enemy always uses Kronos, yes, to, to, to execute his demonic, his, uh, his demonic agenda. But this morning we declare that we frustrate every counsel of the enemy, particularly as we enter into this new day, into this new season, into this new, yes, realm that you have brought us into. Lord, you sit in majesty, you sit in glory. The thrill of your robe this morning fill this temple. This temple that you have called your dwelling place. Feel us this morning in your glory. Feel us this morning in your glory, in your majesty. I proclaim this morning your majesty, your dominion, your power, your authority. Let it be manifest. I bless you, O oh God. I honor your holy name. Feel me, O oh God. Feel everyone that will be, be, be connecting this morning. That will, yes, Lord, be tuning into this channel, into this frequency. Fill me, O oh God. Fill them. Give us, O oh God, a now word. Give us the word that is proceeding from your heart, from your mouth. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Father, we wait for the proceeding word. It is through your word that, yes, that, that we are sustained. It is through your word that we are able to go forth. It is true, yes, the revelation, the spoken word, the written word, and the, even the thought of your heart that we are able, Lord, to advance. And this morning, I declare that we shall, we shall advance. We shall go through a throop. Ah, we will lift over walls. We will not be hindered. The will of God will prosper in our hand. The counsels of God will find leeway. The authority of God uh, in the name of Jesus will guide us, will lead us. We are guided by the leading of the Spirit. Uh, we are people of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. And therefore this morning, we have come to be fine-tuned. Yes, Lord. Uh, we have come, Lord, uh, once again to log into the perfect dial where we can hear, where we can see, where we can respond accurately, precisely to your intentions and your desire. I thank you once again this morning that you are building your intentions in us. We have become indeed a position, a stronghold that cannot be defeated. We thank you once again. We honor you. Oh, Spirit of God, have your way. Have your way. Lead us, oh God, to the next dimension, to the next reality, to the next place of your intention. Thank you, Lord, for supply. Thank you, Lord, for provision. Thank you, Father, for supply. Thank you, Father, for provision. Provision of life and grace. Provision of wisdom, knowledge, and, und and understanding. Provision of counsel. Provisions of the fear of God. Provisions of power and authority. Provision to go forth, oh God, and not to be defeated. Uh, provision not to lose hope, not to lose heart. Provision to continually press in oh God hallelujah yesterday is gone is a brand new day 
is a brand new day. It's a brand new day. This month of August is a new day, a new chapter for us, oh God. We thank you that we are proceeding, we are moving further. I thank you this morning that every heart, every soul connected to this frequency in the name of Jesus, we proclaim a shift over your space. I proclaim a going forth. I proclaim a moving further. I proclaim in the name of Jesus that you are yielding to the prophetic word of God. I said that is a prophetic word, yes, that is spoken over your life right now. You yield in the name of Jesus in warfare to the fulfillment of that which has been said in the name of Jesus oh hallelujah Lord we thank you we praise your holy name we praise your holy name thank you father for your word that will produce the fruit that you desire to see in our life thank you Lord for your desire right now that is finding leeway into every every dimension, every look and cranny of our life. That there is nothing within our life that can hinder your good plans, your good purposes for us. Yes, your word declares that you know the thoughts. You know the thoughts, yes, that you have towards us. Thoughts of good, not of evil. We refuse, oh God, yes, the narrative of the enemy. We refuse, oh God, yes, the lies of the enemy. We refuse the idea that says you're working against us. You're working for our good because you love us more than we love ourselves. We yield to your desire and intention this morning. Whatever you call for is for our good. Whatever you demand of us from us is for our own good, yes. You live in the realm of excellence. We still live in the realm of what is good for ourselves. But you want to see that which is excellent. Yes, you want to see the, the perfection of your intentions and desire in our life. And so we embrace your oh God, your mind this morning for ourselves. We embrace in the name of Jesus your desire for ourselves. We embrace, oh God, your prophetic, yes, desire and intention. The things that you have ordained for us before the foundation of time. We embrace it. We embrace it over our life, over our family, over our city and nation, over, yes, Lord, the continent, over the body of Christ. We embrace, oh God, that which is in your heart for this glorious day. We thank you, oh God. We praise you. Lord, I honor your name. I give you glory. I give you praise. Yes, praise wait for you in Zion. Praise is beautiful unto you. Praise is comely unto you. Oh, Father, we bless you. Let every voice this morning be raised in honor and adoration to your glorious name. To your glorious name. Thank you, Father, for peace and joy. Thank you, Father, for peace and joy in righteousness this morning. We bless you. The Lord is worthy of praise. He is exalted. He is excellent in beauty. None like him. None to be compared with him. No situation can change who he is, what he is to us. Yes, your will will prosper this morning. We thank you, Father. We glorify your holy name. We bless you, O God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. 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 Friends, I want to welcome you this morning once again to this live broadcast. We are just proclaiming and declaring the heart of God for this new day. Well, I often would like to leave, you know, Sunday morning to many of our, you know, our, our friends who run, you know, ch you know, uh, uh, fellowship on Sunday morning, you know, just so that I can also sometimes just, you know, listen to them and share, you know, from their own platform, you know, and be a blessing, you know, uh, 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 by just listening. So, you know, I, I try to avoid, you know, Sunday morning and also just, you know, just to, you know, kind of help other people amen in in their ministry you know but but this morning i've been having this you know uh, uh, this push all right to come and and just make this declarations these are you know word declarations that i believe will give us a better you know understanding of where we are what the spirit of god amen is doing and saying particularly in regards to the nature of the days that we live in if, if you've been following you will know that amen we are tracking amen a path in the spirit 
amen, we are tracking the path. And as the Spirit of God speaks regarding, amen, the next phase, we have to, amen, respond in obedience. So basically, that is what I'm doing this morning. Uh, you know, I've been sensing since yesterday night that we need to just pray into this new month, amen. The month of August and uh, leading to September, you know, to me, I, I've always been a time where the church needs to be awake, needs to be, you know, prepared. And, you know, you you you, you go into warfare by, by the month, by the month of September, you're already in that dimension of a spiritual shift. Uh, uh, you're already in that dimension of, you know, uh, uh, you know, certain things being enforced, you know, over us and, and, and into our space and into our realm, particularly if we're sleeping. So I've always, you know, looked at the month of, you know, August, September as a time where I need to position myself spiritually. I need to engage, amen, in warfare, amen, and, and just continually proclaim and declare the mind of God, the heart of God. So, if that is what you sense this morning, well, I, I want I want us to join for us, amen, as we continue, amen, to position ourselves in the spirit realm, alright? There, there are a lot of people, amen, that, you know, are dying out of ignorance. Not because, amen, they, they, God ordained them to die. Not because God ordained them, amen, to be where they are. You know, they, many of the things happening to us, you know, situations that we find ourselves, alright, are not necessarily ordained by God. The enemy, amen, orchestrated those things, amen, and because of our laxity, our ignorance, amen, our sense of nonchalant attitude, you know, our, you know, sense of, you know, I don't care, amen, or even don't worry about, you know, the things of the spirit. We fall into the trap of the enemy, amen. The word of God is abundantly clear about the enemy setting traps, setting traps. Guess what? We are not about looking for the devil. No, we've gone beyond that. But I'm saying that even in our walk, amen, there are enemies and we need to be aware of them. And most of them, this enemy have come to, you know, kind of build, you know, a, a nest, you know, a struggle within our mindset such that the things that we see panning out in the natural realm are directly connected to our state of thinking or perception or belief, amen. So we have to continually bring ourselves, amen, to the footing of the cross amen in fact not just bring ourselves to the footing of the cross we have to daily carry the cross amen the cross has a has a way amen of of of, of bringing to 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 be of of you know of bringing to bear the intentions of god the counsels of god of bringing us to walk in the understanding amen of of god's intention amen as the seasons of god unfold in our life but amen but the cross also has a way amen of of engaging the powers of darkness when you carry the cross when you walk you know there are there are there are there are there are there are spiritual you know uh, um materials amen there are spiritual materials in the in the scriptures that we can use amen as as warfare amen in warfare amen one of them is a power of the cross amen of course we know amen the blood is one of them amen the blood of jesus yes the bible says the blood of jesus speaks better things than the blood of abel another of course is the word of god amen and there are several like that so we we, we need to call to bed all of the spiritual arsenals that God has given to us as we proceed into the next, amen, emphasis or the seasons of God in our life, amen. Like I always say, a season can be a day, a season can be, amen, two days, a season can be a week, a month, amen, a season can be a decade. But whatever the Spirit of God is emphasizing, amen, are things we need to embrace, we need to, amen, walk on when God steers a word in your heart, when God drops a scripture, amen, and that scripture, you know, refuses to go, amen, and you keep thinking about it, then that is something you need to you need to give attention to amen in terms of where you are amen uh, because spiritual things amen must be understood i discovered that we are we we claim to be aware we claim to be informed amen about spiritual things but truly if we look at our response amen and how we engage amen life and spiritual things in general it, it tells us that we might be we may have some knowledge, but we are not fully, you know, aware of those things because what you are aware of becomes what you are persuaded of. And like many of you must have listened, you know, you know, or maybe read this morning, I've been highlighting the concept of being persuaded being persuaded we, there are there are positions in our life where we have to come to amen in spiritual persuasion that enforces how we 
how we engage life in the human realm, amen, that determine how we interact with life, amen. You have to be persuaded. If you're not persuaded, circumstance and event as a way, amen, of bringing you to a place of doubt, amen. The plans of the enemy has a way, amen, of bringing you to a place where you begin to doubt even your own faith. You begin to doubt the love of God. You begin to doubt, you know, uh, the, the, the position, amen, of the promises of God. You begin to doubt, amen. Listen, when we live our life in this situation where event or, you know, days or calendar is what define and determine how we understand or respond to the things of God, it means that we are still infants in the things of the Spirit. We talked about that yesterday. Paul said, let us live this realm about the knowledge of Christ, amen. We want to go on, but if we are still, amen, infants in our attitude, in our response, in our outlook to life, then we have to continue, amen, to deal with that situation that, that positions us in that, you know, a, a position of, you know, of, of being a child, of being an infant. Paul said, when I was a child, I talk as one, I, 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 I reason as one, I behave as one. He said, but when I become, when I became a man, there is this position God is bringing us into that our warfare hallelujah, goes beyond all of this, you know, you know, peripheries that we always, you know, uh, you know, accrue to warfare. We have to begin to move in the spirit and see what the Lord, amen, is emphasizing in terms of his counsel in our life. Because whatever is a reflection of God's counsel in our life, you can be rest assured that there is a warfare that you need to engage to see the manifestation of that reality. Because the enemy always come for, amen, the promise of God. The enemy always seek to attack, amen, God's prophetic intention for our life. The enemy always, amen, go for, amen. Once God says it's time for something to be birthed or something is about to be birthed, hey, you fold your hand and you're like, well, well, the Lord has spoken. Don't expect the enemy not to come without of fight. He was going to come with a fight and if you're not ready, amen. You say, but God has given to me. Why do I need to fight? Well, it means that you're not studying the word of God. God says, I have given you the land, but you've got to rise up and do what? And take possession. In taking possession, the enemy is not going to fold his hand. The enemy, so we've got to know the context of warfare. We've got to know the various contexts of warfare that we must engage in. Amen. When God says, I've given it to you, take it. <laughs> and the, the moment you rise and you are moving to us, amen, the possession of that which God has given to you the enemy is going to early attack you the enemy is not going to just you know fold his hand and watch you come and take possession the bible says amen the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof yet the kings in the earth amen are rising against the lord and against his anointed amen they, they will challenge they will fight you so let's not be tired amen when god has called us when god is calling us into engagement into spiritual warfare amen listen to this we do not fight spiritual warfare in a position of our own human strength we fight, amen. We fight and we engage. We wrestle. In fact, that's the right word, that, you know, Paul used. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We engage, hallelujah. And you know, in wrestling, there has to be, there has to be contact, amen. You, you, you can't wrestle from afar. You have, to, you have to move near, amen. You have to engage. There has to be a coming closer, hallelujah. And as you do that, amen, you've got to know the tricks and the tactics, amen, of how to what? How to out wrestle, amen, your enemy. How to, how to bring your enemy to a standstill. How to break the back of your enemy. If you don't understand all of these spiritual dynamics, the enemy, amen, will use your ignorance as an advantage against you. So we want to understand what is the Lord saying, but we need to, first of all, amen, come to that position of spiritual maturity. We have to be mature in our, in our look, in our understanding, in our interaction with the word of God. You know, the things that we have spoken about, you know, three, four, five years ago, when you go back to the, to the same thing as the spirit of God, amen, continually, you know, bring his word across to our mind, you will notice that those things are coming to you in a new light, in a new direction, amen. Yes, the things of God will come to us, amen, in a new vision, in a new understanding. Why? Because we are growing, amen, in our interaction with the things of God. So it is important, hallelujah, that as the Lord speaks to us regarding spiritual warfare in this season, I want us to begin to understand that the warfare has to be, amen, has to be focused on our state of thinking, on our state of persuasion, on our state, amen, of belief, amen. Let's not give you know, uh, uh, the enemy room in our heart, in our mind, amen. Let's not allow the enemy to take hallelujah, a ground in our, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our thought pattern because we are not hearing, we are not seeing, because we are not fully amen, persuaded about what God wants to do. I want to read one or two scriptures this morning and then we're going to take time to pray and then I'll be done. I don't intend to take our time this morning. Thank you, Father. Let's start with Second Peter chapter, uh, chapter 2. 
Remember, every time you study the word of God, you read the word of God, amen, with a focused mind, with a focused heart, amen. That itself is spiritual warfare, amen. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, amen. Second, uh, 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 Peter chapter 2, let's take it from verse 1. We're going to look at verse 3, but let's take it from verse 1. You know, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ. Very important. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ. We all, at least by now, are familiar with that term apostle. Amen. Apostles, amen, are there to establish. They are there to bring forth. They are there to birth. They are there to, you know, to, 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 to bring into reality that which is in the realm of the spirit. That which, amen, the Father has in his heart, in his mind, in terms of, amen, the healing, the transformation, the reformation of, of, of homes, family, of individuals, of, you know, communities, of nations, all right? God, God, God releases apostles, amen, to go establish his council by, amen, establishing a church. Of course, we know by now that a church is not a building. Amen. The church is 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 the is the point and place where the intentions of God gets to be manifest into the human realm. Amen. That which is in the spirit realm, amen, is brought forth and built into amen the earth through the ministry of apostles. Amen. The apostle the, 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 the apostle, the apostolic amen, ministry is a special gift. Amen. This gift uh, amen. Uh, when this gift comes into our lives, into our space, amen, it gives us, you know, what you call divine, you know, understanding. It gives us divine alignment, amen. It brings us to a place, amen, where we are furnished, where we are equipped, amen. Yes, the, the, these are equipping ministry. I, 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 I like, I like how, you know, this, 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 this word is introduced to us. Peter, amen, Simon Peter, a servant of God, a minister, but you can see just be, beyond a minister or before, beyond, yes, what you define as a minister, there is also that which, amen, is, is defined as, you know, the, the apost apostolic ministry of Peter. In other words, amen, this servant ministry, amen, of Peter is an apostolos, is an apostolic, amen, a, a, a gift, amen, which is to, to, to help to bring clarity, understanding, to help to shape. And you will very, very soon you're going to see the reason why I'm emphasizing on this. Because when you are connected with a true, amen, apostolic, amen, presence apostolic ministry apostolic hub when you find yourself amen in a realm that is mature in the grace of the apostolic amen you know, your, your perspective your perception amen your worldview changes amen they bring you to a point to a place where you are able to understand amen god's intentions for your life you are able to you are, you are able to yield and, and submit amen to the directive to the instructions amen of the father amen it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be easy Easy, amen or cheap no but they bring the counsel you see an, ap an apostle brings the counsel of God anyone functioning in the gift within the gift amen of an apostolic ministry amen they, they go beyond amen how you feel what you feel to amen establishing God's prophetic intention remember that the apostle amen and the prophet they are hand in hand ministry you can hardly separate this two we've talked about this several times you can hardly not because amen they, 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 they are inseparable but that is how God defined it the Bible says the church of the Lord is built upon amen, the foundation amen of the apostles and the prophet and Christ himself can you see the interconnection and Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in other words where you find the operation of an, of an apostolic ministry this is not what I intend to talk about but God is saying something to us because as we go on into the future in warfare we need to understand amen the nature of the kind of the nature of the quality or excuse me the nature of there's a word that i'm looking for the nature of uh, the weapon the weapon god wants us to use amen because apostles amen are, are designed to fashion weapons for us they are, they are, they, one of their mission, amen, is to help us to fashion, amen, you know, arrowhead, warheads, amen, to help us to fashion, amen, the, the, the right relevant. You will notice that, amen, as a season changes in the earth, new technologies, amen, comes to bear, amen. Yes, one generation, you know, enjoys, amen, a, 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 a better technology, if you will, that advances, that progresses 
society amen if you look at what happened amen in the in the in the 18th century compared to what is happening right now there's a big difference even though there may be similarities of how people lived life but the technology amen has changed things the technology is always a game changer there are people that amen you know who sit down and think amen and drill into their soul of course from the world system amen and and look at how things can be improved amen in their space in the human realm and 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 they will be able to you know put things together either through research or you know through discovery and all kinds of things and and, and they, they bring things out all right and that becomes something that pushes society just like today you can see that the social media platform amen of course these are these are these are ideas that were created by certain individuals all right and this these ideas that have become a reality as you can see, it has changed, amen, the way we understand, you know, life, the way we interact, and of course, the way we do church. So what I'm saying is, when we engage certain grace and giftings, amen, and, and we embrace them and we see, in fact, if we invest into what is called the apostolic grace and ministry, what what then begins to happen within the church, amen, is, is an advance, amen, uh, an advancement of the of, of the prophetic mandate of God, amen, and of course, amen, a continual development. In fact, you find a rapid shift, amen, in the in the journey, in the movement of God. So, if you will, eh, 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 to the degree we understand and 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 yield to, amen, the apostolic ministry that, that has been given to us, amen, to the degree we are able to accelerate, hallelujah, and move further in our prophetic mandate, in our you know kingdom, you know, our, our ministry. I think this is just something that is coming from my spirit right now we need to understand what the lord hallelujah is doing in this new day you cannot you know stay in one place do it in your, you know do your own thing amen and and, and think you are going to amen uh, accelerate you need to understand you need to make use amen of them and i'm when i mean make use i'm not using that word in a negative term now i'm not using using that word amen in a selfish term you need to understand amen what is the prophetic hallelujah you know, technology, God, amen, is emphasizing. Because, like I always said, the prophetic, amen, has the ability to see into the realm of, of the heart of God. Not like the apostles too can see. They can also see, amen. These are all revel re revelatory ministry. They are the prophetic and the apostolic are revelatory ministry. But one thing, amen, that, that differentiate them, amen, is that the Bible says that the, 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 the apostolic ministry is a wise master building. So you see, amen, that the apostolic ministry is all about construction, is all about bringing forth is all about building forth is all about establishing is is all about taking that which the prof, the prophet is saying or that which God has given to the prophet amen and he has this grace amen to go and fashion hallelujah you know if you will take the iron throw it in the in the furnace and he's able to fashion things he's able to beat this you know this this rod hallelujah this iron rod into all kinds of shape that 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 accelerate amen that that that, that, that assist the development of construction and warfare hallelujah so you've got to understand that god has given to us ministry and this ministry amen that peter is talking about amen is a dimension of a gift that we need today hallelujah to be able to war a good warfare hallelujah lest we are using amen 18th century you know uh, technology to fight amen a battle that has changed in the 21st century you get in the point we have to walk in the spirit thank you father we have to be in the spirit we have to be able to connect hallelujah with the mind of god with the heart of God, with the desires of God, with the intentions of God. What are the required technology for the day? What are the things, amen? I mean, if you look around us, you see all kinds of things changing. If particularly if you are familiar with the world of the, the internet, if you're familiar with the world of the internet, you will notice that there are all kinds of changes that have taken place, particularly right now, amen, in this new day, amen, pro uh, 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 2019, 2020, 2021, amen, all kinds of things, amen, have shifted, have changed in the way we interact, in the way we communicate, in the way we, we, we live life, amen. Techno there are new technologies that are speaking to the issues, amen, of health, amen, of of even you know food security there are new technologies speaking into you know uh, uh, how we how we how we how we use you know the the the, the, the you know the 
you know, the World Wide Web, there are, there are things, amen, shaping how, amen, we do warfare today. Warfare is no longer something that or, uh, we do by might and power, you know. Yes, th those are still there, but the warfare today, I've, I've gone into the idea that, that the realm of nanotechnology and all kinds of things that are happening, you understand? There, there, there are new technologies speaking into the idea of biology, chemistry, you know, physics. There are all kinds of things shaping and happening today that, amen, we may not need to fully, you know, bother ourselves above but i'm using that as an understanding that as we see in the natural amen there are new you know templates new new models new new spiritual you know grace that god earlier is giving to us or increasing and re-enhancing amen our our grace in the spirit such that amen when we align when we yield ourselves you see but these things will not happen if we're so rigid amen if we're still holding on to how we how we used to pray and how we used to connect amen you know, 50 years ago, 20 years ago, and things used to happen. You've got to understand that there's been a shift earlier. There have been what? A shift, a change has occurred. Even though you're still living in the same house, amen, everything still looks uh, 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 the same. But the technology that drives things have changed. That's the point that I'm making. All right, and if if you if you if if you if I may, if you look at the the things, amen, that people like you know your your Microsoft and your and your you know Apple, you know, are, are producing today. I mean, you, you will notice that technologies have shifted, amen. Today you have what you call Windows Windows 360. You understand where everything is built on the cloud. You've got you've got a computer, you've got a device, but that thing is basically an interface, amen. Your information are all stored in the cloud. Whatever you want to do whatever program you want to use are all stored in the cloud so basically even if you lost your your device you lost you know your computer all your work amen is stored in the cloud and i'm not just talking about your one drive i'm not talking about you know your spare i'm talking about amen you know a, a, a real time amen you know a, a hub amen that that allow you to to interact to communicate amen to you know to do business online without amen you really you know paying so much on you know on some devices that is the world we are going you understand it's a world of speed it's a world of agility come on it's a word of speed it's a word of agility it's a word amen where the, the where the wisdom of this world have, have, have entered into another realm another reality it's important that when we say the wisdom of this world is coming to naught we cannot fully understand what that means if we're not advancing the Spirit of God is speaking. If we're not advancing earlier in the in the in the knowledge, in the present, you know, emphasis of the wisdom of God, I hope you understand that the wisdom of God, amen, is not static. Hallelujah. The Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is known, amen, as the as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is the God of all ages. You understand? You've got to understand that in the things of the spirit, there are there are progression. The knowledge of God, amen, is ever increasing, is ever growing. Amen. The knowledge, I hope you understand that God, 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 God did not, amen, was uh, uh, let me rephrase what I want to say. The things of God, hallelujah, live within you know a realm in, in, in God, amen, that are unfolding, that that, that you know they 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 are they are self-improved. They are self-improved. That's the way I can I can I can put it to you. As you move on with God, amen, you will discover that the same thing God spoke to you yesterday, the same thing you heard yesterday earlier, you return back to that same word, amen. You know, three years, you know, down the line, you know, they, they're meaning something else. This is still the same thing, but the way you 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 interact with that thing, the way God speaks to you from that same word earlier is more pronounced, it's more advanced. And these are realities, amen, that amen are shaping even how we understand understand the world that we live in today all right you know people are already talking about you know the technology of you know the 21st century in, in the days where all right, we are still being driven by you know 4g you know uh, 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 you know network today we're talking about 5g some are even beginning to talk about 6g you understand everything's going to be speaking into each other and we don't need to be afraid of this of this development no it's part of how god hallelujah has ordained amen that the combinations of the ages of, of the movement of the ages into that final finish in christ hallelujah we are coming to the final finish so we need to understand that when we say warfare uh, don't, don't think of warfare from the mindset you used to you used to understand 
understand warfare. Hallelujah. Warfare has changed. Hallelujah. You have to think of warfare in terms of how you, you operate, how you think. Hallelujah. How you interact. Amen. When you're walking on the street, what is going on in your mind? How do you think? How do you see things? Hallelujah. You have to think of warfare in terms of, amen, discipline yourself, aligning yourself. Father, I just give you glory. You have to think of warfare in terms of how you, you, you read the word of God and how the word of God reads you. You have to think of warfare earlier in terms of ideology, philosophy, culture. You have to think of warfare earlier in terms of the establishment of the will of God called the kingdom of God. Amen. Within all the facets of human existence. Amen. There is, there is wherever God wants to establish his kingdom, there is a warfare earlier that must take place in that realm. Hallelujah. Meaning that there must be somebody. Amen. Amen. Whom God has opened is a mind of understanding. Who understand, Amen. The world of the world of technology in terms of audiovisual, Amen. Who understand, Amen. Technology in terms of, Amen. Gaming. Who understand technology in terms of, you know, uh, 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 healthcare. Who understand technology in terms of, you know, driving, you know, uh, uh, transformation, Amen. In local government. Come on. Who understand technology in terms of fashion? Who understand technology, Amen. And the will of God, and the counsels of God. When we say the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, hallelujah, has to speak to every area, hallelujah, that the enemy, amen, has wrongly possessed. He said, he said, he said, he said to Jesus, this kingdom has been given to me. If only you can bow to me and worship me, I will give you, amen, the glory of this kingdom for it's been given to me. Amen. Of course, he was referring to, you know, what Adam did in the garden. Adam abdicated his position. Now Jesus came, amen, and took back that position. And now we, amen, are custodians of the earth. We have been given the earth, but guess what? We do not have full possession of it. It's been given to us, just like God said, amen, to, to the children of Israel. I have given you the land, but you've got to rise up and take possession. That is the nature of the warfare that we are talking about. How we can rise up, amen, and take possession. But guess what? The enemy is not going to fold his hand. Like I said, amen, he has already positioned all kinds of ideologies, all kinds of belief within the world of ed education, within the world, amen, of entertainment, amen, within the world of fashion, within the world of you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, food security within the world of finance amen we have to understand amen that god has given to us a wisdom the wisdom of God, amen, is, is, is superior, amen, than the wisdom of this world. The knowledge of God, amen, is, of course, is superior than the wisdom of, than the knowledge of this world. But if we don't walk, if we are not aware, if we are not persuaded, and if we have not been developed to such a level that spirit of God, to such a level that we understand that our identity is no longer source, is no longer connected, amen, to this fallen world, amen, to this compromised world. When I mean the world, I'm talking about, amen, the wisdom and the knowledge that drives the world, amen, because the world itself, the people of the world are going to be saved, but they cannot be saved, amen, if there is no intermediary, if, it's, if there's no representative, if one is not going, the Bible says, how can they hear, if no one is going to preach to them, hallelujah, we need to go to all this part, all these realms, amen, and begin to ex 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 exhibit, amen, and begin to showcase, amen, a higher philosophy, we have to begin to show them, amen, that there is something better, not not just better in terms of what they can see but but better in terms of hallelujah how they can be transformed how because at the end of the day what is the world looking for they're looking for rest they are looking for you know uh, uh, you know completeness they are looking for fulfillment basically amen uh, that's what they are looking for when you're looking for money when you're looking for fame when you basically what they are looking for is not the fame because at the end of the day you get to be known you get to be popular but you are still empty you still feel this emptiness you have all this money in the bank amen you can travel anywhere in the world but somehow you are still not at rest with yourself so what i'm saying is we need to create amen a forum we need to create an interface amen while amen we are dealing with amen the issues of what the world celebrates maybe it's the building of a phone maybe it's a building of a car maybe it's a building of a business amen while the world see that as the end we see that hallelujah as a means to an end be at the means to the means to an end is what we are doing right now but when you get to the end the end is that which eyes cannot see that which their hand cannot touch that which eludes their mind that which gives them sleepless night that which causes the kings of the earth to you know to, to to you know to continually to dream with that amen and interpreter and that is where the diners of this world come that is where the justice of this world amen are, are, 
are required. That is when, amen, that is a place where, amen, hallelujah, the Esthers, the Deborahs of this world, amen, the Gideons of this world, amen, are called, amen, the, 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 the Samson of this world, amen, are called. And therefore, we have to understand that, amen, it's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, see the Lord. The spirit of God is an excellent spirit. The spirit of God, hallelujah, is a spirit, amen, that speaks into, amen, development, you know, maturity, amen, competency. Let us not, amen, reduce the things of God earlier to, amen, this idea of, you know, mediocrity and, and, and in, inability. You know, whenever, whenever we talk about spiritual things, people say, but how, how do we see that manifest in the human realm? How do we make that, amen, reality? It's because you do not understand the ways of the Spirit. When you understand the ways of the Spirit, you will always know that when, amen, you are ready and prepared, amen, God will create an occasion, amen, that will make you, amen, do something, say something, speak something something earlier carry out something that will attract the kings of the earth and therefore they will bow to the wisdom of god amen that is in you that was what amen you know uh, uh, daniel said when they said to you know uh, to the king they said there is a man who can interpret he said who is that man he said go bring him here the same thing to pharaoh they said there is a man in your kingdom the guy is in prison but he can give you the interpretation amen he can give you the dream and also give you the interpretation the king said have you noticed that the king always sent for people who have competence, people who have wisdom, knowledge, who have understanding, people, amen, who have been tried and tested earlier. Those are the people that the king sent for. So if we're going to engage the mountain, if we're going to make hallelujah, a difference in this new day, if we're going to move further, you have to continually yield yourself, amen, to the wisdom of God, to the intentions of God, to the direction of God. And all of that begins from the place of prayer. When you begin to pray, you need to have, amen, a pen and a paper. You need to have amen your devices because as you pray god will be speaking to you and he will be giving you solution have you noticed that it was when amen daniel began to pray and his brothers amen that god amen came down and gave him the answer amen of the king god wants to reach the nation god wants to minister to the nation but he needs to do that through a people whose heart are aligned to his ways to his mind to his will so if you're going through trouble if you're going through hardship if you're going through a time amen that looks as if you're you're gonna die in this point you need to be persuaded what do you believe do you believe in the god of heaven do you believe that your life has been set aside for such a time as this. Do you believe, amen, that you have been given a grace, an apostolic grace? Do you believe that you have been called, hallelujah, to bring an answer and solution? Do you believe that you've been positioned, hallelujah, to take possession of that which the enemy have stolen over your home, your family, your community? What do you see? I started by saying to you, that there are people that I know, amen, that the enemy have taken, you know, some their life, you know, just end their life, amen, because those people lack ignorance, because they lack the knowledge, because they are weak, because, amen, they choose to just flow, uh, you know, with their own, with their own appetite, with their own self, with their own flesh. You know, yesterday night, as I was about to sleep, I was just about to go to bed yesterday night, I was a bit tired, and I, I needed to just lay my head, you know, on the bed and just sleep. But as, as I was about to do that, I sense the spirit of God says why don't you just pray you know just pray you you know it's a new month coming just just you know even if it's just few minutes just pray so I said okay I'm just going to pray and the moment I began to pray of course suddenly the strength of God came upon me and that is the trick about the things of the spirit I'm telling you you are stronger than what you think you are stronger than what you think you just need to drag yourself into the presence of God you just need to create that atmosphere that environment hallelujah to honor to praise God to glorify God and live the rest to God. I tell you, by the time I was done, I knew, hallelujah, first of all, I didn't even want to sleep again, but I knew I have to sleep, amen, because I know God is doing something in my life, hallelujah. God, I tell you, friends, if you yield yourself, if you surrender yourself, amen, and, and to the ways, to the direction of the spirit, and not just fold your hand, amen, and accept whatever comes your way, it, it, listen to this, you will be used of God, and God will make you a sign and a wonder, amen, to your generation. God wants a people that he can use, that, I mean, that he has empowered power that can go for that can represent his intention but he's not going to use incompetent people he's not going to use people amen who do not understand who do not pay value who do not pay homage to the things of god who do not see the sacredness of the things of god who see the things of god amen as secondary who see the things of god as if well when you talk about prayer say well is it not just to pray ah then that means you are spiritually blind if prayer to you is just to pray if prayer to you is just praying to one god up there that you you, you don't know you are not familiar with you don't know what you don't know 
know the importance of prayer, you don't know what prayer does, you don't know what prayer unlocks on the inside of you, then you see prayer as just, well, I'm praying. But if you understand that when you begin to pray, heaven opens up earlier, and then there's a flow, there's a communication, there's a connection, amen, to a heavenly thing. And whatever, whenever heaven comes into your life, you have the wisdom, the solution to change things in the human realm. You see, that is what pushes me. That is what motivates me, amen. I, I mean, I live in an environment where I know that the things around me, I can never, I will never be able to handle them, amen, without the intervention of God in my life. So that pushes me more to pray, to seek the mind of God, to seek his way. And God allowed us so that nobody gets to a point where you start to depend on yourself. You start to depend, amen, on what the doctor say. You start to depend, amen, on what the, you know, the financial guru say or what you know, the government say. You have to depend on the Lord. My strength comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. My help is in the name of the Lord. If you don't know that, if you don't believe that, I'm telling you, situation, circumstance, event will push you to a point, to a day where you are going to begin to doubt. You're going to begin to doubt and you will give up. Amen. You will stop trusting. You will stop believing God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, while they were sleeping, the enemy came. While the Bible says there was a lingering, there was a delay. The Bible says they went into slumber. What is it? What are those things that pushes us to slumber? I know I'm still, amen, in Second Peter chapter 1. You see what the Lord does? It takes one word, amen. Because you pray, you've sought the heart of God. You've sought the mind of God. It takes just one word, amen. Peter, an apostle of Jesus. Boom! You are lifted to another realm. This is the power, hallelujah, of the word of God. One word, hallelujah, can change your life. One word can transform. One word can reform. One word can take you from a lower realm, hallelujah, to a new height in the spirit where you begin to operate from a dimension amen beyond just what you what you think this is the power of the spirit and i want us to understand this morning i know there are very few people joining us this morning sunday morning well this is the time the lord wants us to engage and i want you to understand that amen your life is what amen you see to be your life is, amen, a view, is, a, is the view lens of your faith. Your life is the view lens of your faith. What you accept about yourself, amen, particularly, amen, from being persuaded about the event around you. What you accept about yourself is what you're going to have. The Bible says you will eat the fruit of your, of your lips, amen. If you believe you're sick, you're going to die of sickness. If you believe, all right, that you are, you are, you are weak, amen, you're going to die of weakness. If you believe, amen, that sin can overpower you, amen, sin will do overpower you, hallelujah. If you believe that you're poor and you're going to remain, amen, the way you are. If you believe that the environment, amen, is what shapes and determines, amen, the outcome of your life, that is what you're going to get, amen. If you believe, amen, that, amen, the government, you know, defines and determines, amen, how far you're going to go in life, of course, then that is what is going to happen to you. But if you believe that, amen, you are what God says in his word if you believe that God's plan for you their plans of good if you believe earlier that God's counsel for you is life is health amen his peace is advancement amen if you believe that you're moving to us amen the prophetic intentions of God for your life then you will get up earlier from where you are regardless of how you feel regardless of what is going on in your mind you will amen just walk in obedience to what God says amen that was what I did yesterday my body was weak. I was feeling tired. But amen. I, I, I had to respond to faith. You see. Faith caused the things that be not as though they were. Faith caused the things that be not as though they were. My, my, my team scripture this morning. Amen. Is, is, is where Paul said to Timothy. War a good warfare. Amen. With the prophecies. With the prophecies. With the prophecies. That have been, that have been spoken over your life. There are prophecies. Come on. There are prophecies over my life. There are prophecies over this ministry. There are prophecies over my children. Amen. There are prophecies over that which God has committed into my hands. Amen. That I need to war a good. Have you noticed that our warfare has got an objective. Based on the prophecy. Based on that which has been proclaimed proclaim what is it that amen has been proclaimed over your life if you ever think that prophecy are self-fulfilled without you praying without you making demand without you engaging ever i'm telling you you, you you've you've lied amen you, you have been lied to if you ever think amen prophecy are self-fulfilled no you have to check the scripture whenever the time comes even jesus the bible says 
everything Jesus did was based on that which, amen, has been written. Has been written. When he came, he began to engage himself. He began to align himself. He began to carry out, amen, based, amen, on that which he knew that has been written. What do you know, amen, that has been written over your life? You see, the days that we're living are days where we are re-engaging the word of God and we are redefining how, amen, God speaks to us and we are redefining how we engage to the things that God has spoken to us. Gone are the days you say, well, they, they told me, they gave me a prophetic word, this is what is going to happen to me and all you're doing is just expecting but you are not engaging. You are not, you see, to engage means, amen, to begin to align yourself, to begin to prepare yourself, amen. If, 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 if you have received a seed, amen, and you know that, amen, uh, in the next nine months you're going to give birth, guess what? You start preparing, amen, for the giving of birth. You start preparing for that, hallelujah, which, amen, you have received. Your, 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 your environment start changing, amen. You start aligning to us, amen, that which you are expecting, amen. You don't fold your hand and just wait, amen. Yeah, well, it's going to happen. No, no, no. You begin to, you see, that is faith in action. You begin to align. You begin to speak. You begin to talk. You begin to walk. You begin to shift, amen. You begin to change relationship, friendship. You begin to change your environment. You begin to prepare for that which, amen, is about to come. What do you see? What are you expecting? Paul said, I am persuaded. If you're not persuaded about the next, amen, uh, decade of God for your life, if you're not persuaded, amen, about what the Spirit of God is doing in this season in time, if you're not persuaded, amen, that the enemy is not going to destroy your home, if you're not persuaded, amen, that that which God has committed into your hand called ministry is going to be carried out in accordance to his will and purpose. Listen to this. Lack and all kinds of, you know, disappointment will cause you to think that God is no longer at work in your life, will cause you to think that God has forgotten you. Listen Listen to this 40 years, amen, of wilderness experience did not stop earlier. What God has already prophesied, what God have already declared regarding Moses. 40 years passed earlier. God awakened the vision, God awakened the prophetic word 40 years after. That is almost like uh, you know, half of a whole lifetime. The word came to pass. The word came to pass, friends. The word of God came to pass. You see, there, 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 there are process that you have to engage. Like I said, you have to understand what warfare is in this season. Our warfare is not going to look for the devil. Our warfare, amen, must be channeled towards the direction of God's prophetic intention for our life. This is what God has said over my life. These are the things that heaven has declared over my children, over my space, amen, over my home, my family, over that which has been committed into my hand. Then I begin to work, align towards that. Yes, when warfare then begins to happen it happens along the line of that which amen amen has been spoken over your life it's a war of good warfare amen in regards to the prophecies plural spirit of the lord let me go back to the scripture that triggered all of this second peter chapter chapter one simon peter this guy he, he carries something and you see how god used these people to change their world when you talk about Paul, I mean, that's, that's, that's a spiritual resource. When you talk about James, he is a spiritual resource. Come on. When you talk about Elijah, a spiritual resource. When you talk about I, I, Isaiah, I am a spiritual resource to my generation. There's more to Isaiah than what you see. There is more to Isaiah Phillips Akintola than what you see, than what you know. There is more to what you see, Alia. There is more to this man, Alia, than the person you are watching right now on your device. There is more. There is more locked up in my spirit. Come on. There is more that God has ordained for me, Alia, to birth for my generation. I said there is more to what you see. There is more to what you know about this man. That, that you see, hallelujah, I'm carrying something that is about to be birthed, that is about to shape that, in fact, that is already shaping the destiny of this nation. There is more to your life than what men see. There is more to your life than what people understand. There is more to your life than what your husband, your wife, hallelujah, understand, than what your children understand. There is more, hallelujah, to what God, amen, has done and deposited. If you allow circumstance, event, people, amen, to shut you and to tell you, you are no good, you have no you have no capacity
capacity. You can make, listen to this. If I have to look at my, 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 my physical position and condition and look at him at my background and look at him at all kinds of things that have happened to me, not just where I come from, but even where I am right now, I will never have the kind of boldness and grace and strength, amen, to do what I'm doing today. But I know, hallelujah, that what you see is not what you see. I know that what I've been through and what I'm going through is not what defines me. There's a word, there's a prophetic word upon my life. When heaven, hallelujah, gave me a prophetic word in Nigeria, when I heard the voice of a young man that said to me, come over to South Africa. South Africa needs an engineer. I didn't know what was awaiting me, but I responded. After, after, after almost a decade, I responded in faith. I responded in trust. I left everything behind because I trust in the Lord, because I believe in the Lord. I might have gone through all kinds of you know issues, eye waters, you know challenges, all kinds of need, all kinds of you know you know attack, all kinds of you know you know the enemy trying to malign you, trying to hinder you. But I'm still here. It come August, hallelujah, 2020, uh, 2021. I'm still here, and in, in the next you know month, I'm still gonna be here. Come on, because listen to this: the will of God, amen, is what define and determine how far we go on earth. It's not what you know man say. It's not the event, it's not the circumstance, it's not the lie of the enemy, it's not lack, it's not money, hallelujah, it's not where who comes, who goes, no, it is the will of God, it's the counsels of God, if you are connected to the will of God and you trust God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ever imagine or think then you will spend time then you will wait then you will pray hallelujah the bible says those who wait on the lord amen shall renew their strength i prophesy i declare into you this morning that your strength be renewed your strength whatever your strength means whatever your strength means to you ha, i prophesy I declare let there be a renewer in the name of jesus i declare right now be renewed in the spirit hallelujah of your calling be renewed in the spirit of your intention amen for this season be renewed i declare in the name of jesus arise uh, take your place begin to shine for the light of god for the path of the righteous i've got that word in view don't mind me let me just fire on as the spirit of the lord leads me the path of the righteous is like the light of the dawn this is the dawn of a new day This is the dawn of a new day, friends. The path of the righteous. Are you righteous? If you are not, then align to righteousness. Because whatever God does, are done through the path of righteousness. Righteousness exalts a nation. If righteousness has the capacity to exalt an entire nation, how much more an individual? How much more a family? Oh, you didn't hear me? I said, if righteousness amen, is that strong, is that powerful to, to literally exalt a nation. You know what that, that, you know that, what, what that, what that means? Every dimension that represents that nation is exalted. Their sense of life, their sense of identity, their sense of purpose, their sense of you know, economy. Everything that defines that nation is exalted by righteousness. Oh, God give us righteous people. God give us righteous leaders. Righteousness exalts a nation. How much, how much more you and I? How much more people who live amen, via the influence and authority hallelujah, of, the, of, 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 of obedience? Hallelujah. The path of the righteous is like the light of the dawn. So you want to understand where you are, who you are. Amen. When you wake up in the morning, check, see that amen, rising sun. That, that morning sun that begins to rise. I mean, I've got, the, I've, where we are, I've, we, I've got a wonderful view to see what that scripture means. You literally see how the sun rises behind us, you know, by, be, behind, the, behind the mountain. You say there's a mountain that wants to sub, sub, subdue, subdue you. You just see the light, amen, coming out. You just see the sun rising gradually. Most time I've captured this amen, on video, captured this, you know, on, 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 you know, on, on, on picture. It's amazing. You just, there is nothing, there is no mountain too high that can stop, hallelujah, one whose God is the son of righteousness. The path of the righteous is like the light of the dawn. 
the light of the dawn, amen, gives hope. Labrago <laughs> Shayando. That just came fresh to my spirit. The light of the dawn gives hope. When the watchman begins to see the sun rise, there is joy that comes to his heart. At least we scale through this night. Because the, the real powers of the darkness, when they want to attack you, they attack you in the night when everything is dark. When you have no sense of direction. When you have no sense, amen, of life. When you are hopeless, you're depressed. Those are your night hour. Those are your night season. When the, when the enemy comes and whispers to your, to, to your mind, give up. It's over. Don't bother the master again. Your child is dead. The business is dead. It's not going to rise. Your body is falling apart. Your mind is falling apart. You've lost that child to drugs, to perversion, to wickedness. Give up. That is your night hour. That's when the enemy, Jesus said, amen, this is the hour of darkness. When Jesus was hung on the cross, as he died, Jesus said, this is the hour of death. This is the hour of darkness. We've got to understand, there are hours that, that we have to take our stand. The midnight hour, that's why God gave me the word yesterday. Pray yourself. <clears throat> Pray your way into the new year, into the new month. That's a word for somebody. I don't know who. In the midst, amen, of, of opposition. In the midst of obstacle. In the midst of contradiction. The Bible says, hallelujah. When ho all hope was lost. When David had lost all hope. <clears throat> when, amen, his, 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 his own very people, his own army. Are threatening to stone him to death. He, David had to summon hope. From that state of hopelessness. You got to understand. There's something about the things of God. There has to be persistence. There has to be consistent. There, you must be persuaded. You know. Elijah was persuaded on Mount Carmel. When he kept asking that young you know, apprentice. Go back and check. The guy said. Sir there is nothing. There's no cloud. No rain is coming. Stop this prayer. You've already had the first victory. <clears throat> you have defeated, amen, Jezebel. Amen. The first prophets of Baal have been judged. Let's leave this issue of, you know, <laughs> you know the, the formation of the cloud. Let's leave it. Come on, friends. That was one of the words God gave us, amen, as we engage 2019. There's a formation of the cloud. The cloud represents, amen, the place where your help is coming from. Where the economy of God is going to fall from. Hallelujah. Rain comes from the earth. From the heaven, excuse me. It's a go back. Go back. When the Assyrian, you know, general came. To the prophet. And they said go have a bath in Jordan. In Jordan River. And he was complaining. <laughs> because he, he dipped himself the first time. The second time. The third time. Not, nothing. He said hey. This man I'm going to chop off your head. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you know who I am. <laughs> nothing is going on. And he was about. You know wrecking and threatening. And, and the little damsel said. Master. Just listen and obey what this prophet told you to do. Go back. If the doctor asks you to do something, won't you do it? The damsel was able to, you know, persuade amen, this general who Elijah did not even come out to see. He said, go. <laughs> by, the, by the seventh time, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm, I'm highlighting something very critical here. We are quick to give up. We're quick to want to give up. You know why? Because we set goals. Goals that, amen, are not aligned to the mind of God, to the will of God. We set goals, amen, that are not aligned to God's prophetic program for our life. We set goals, amen, that are contrary, amen, to biblical principle and standard. We set goals, earlier that do not even match with our sense of spirituality. And after a while, but I've been praying, I've been fasting, I've been, 
Certain people, you see them, you know, you, you see their radar, amen, for three months on social media, you see them, oh, they're they are on fire. Then suddenly, whoosh, something just burst their bubble. They're gone into oblivion. The same thing happened in the spirit. Oh, they're very alive, praying, you know, climbing, you know, that hill, that mountain. And something happened and they got distracted and they fall. And the devil tells them, stay there. Stay there on the floor. That's where you belong. You cannot rise. If you try to rise again, I'm going to bring you down. So people have come to accept that amen, their default position of life is to remain among the purpose, is to remain among the poor, is to remain among amen, those that have been you know, uh, 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 in, you know, uh, battered you know, by all kinds of things. You are a victim. And that's a mindset that many people have been fed here in South Africa. You're a victim. Everything, we blame it, amen, on, you know, on, on, on the past, on the apartheid. Yes, apartheid is very, very real. But guess what? We can rise out of it. By aligning ourselves, amen, to the right values and principles that God is teaching us this day. They say Rome was not built in a day, but you begin Rome by, you know, you know, by starting in a day. Rome was not built in a day, but you start in a day. If we begin, amen, on the right path, amen, and continue to walk on the right path, we will build. We will restore. We will rebuild. We will restore. Hallelujah. We will renew. We will revive. But if we're lying to ourselves, we're just doing all kinds of things and lying to ourselves, amen, we're just awaiting a disaster. Anybody can come and steal all kinds of things and the people follow. What program does the people have? What program does the government have in building, in restoring the dignity of the nation? Not just all these things that they claim they're doing. Because you can see what has happened in the last few months, excuse me, few weeks, has proven that, amen, <clears throat> what the people are doing what the leaders are doing it's not working properly it might have worked amen for for some period of time but it's no longer working we're dealing with amen how to war a good warfare with the prophecy if 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 god amen has given a prophetic word over this nation amen and nobody's engaging that prophetic word amen in warfare you see that's what i'm doing I must be focused. I can't be here and there, here and there. I need to be focused. I need to know what God, amen, is doing. I need to be able to track the path of the Spirit in bringing forth so that when my job is fulfilled, amen, I know my job is done. If you have no sense of direction, if you have no sense of direction, you don't know, amen, when you get there. You will never know when you've arrived in fact, you will pass the place that you're supposed to take a detour because you have no sense of direction. The path of the righteous. Thank you, Father. The path of the righteous is like, is like, it's not, but it's like. That's the point I'm trying to make. You want to know who you are, what you are. Get up in the morning, locate the rising sun. It's like the light of the dawn, shining brighter. As that amen, sun begins to rise from behind the mountain, it's a bit still, you know, dull and weak. But as, as that sun gains ascendance from your location, I hope you understand, hallelujah, that the sun has its position of, of shining, of, 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 of brightness. But based on where you are, it's like the sun is just rising. Do you think the sun ever goes down? The sun never goes down. The sun only goes down, amen, based on your own location. Based, amen, on where, amen, you live on the part of the equator. That's just, just it. But the sun never goes down. The sun does its rounds. It's like the shining, amen. It's the, the part of the righteous is like the, it's like the, it's like the dawn. Shining bright is like the light of the dawn shining brighter, amen. Shining brighter and brighter until the midday, the fullness, the full sun, the full light until midday. <laughs> you don't want to be in certain part of the world, amen, by midday. You know, you live in some part of the world by midday. 
you will know, amen, that, you know, your midday where you are in South Africa is a child's play. To a midday somewhere, amen, in the Sahara. Come on. But guess what? Even in those people places, people have created all kinds of technology. Amen. That, that keeps them as if amen, everything is just cool. It's amazing. Friends, what are we saying? I want to show you. Let me finish this scripture. Second Peter. Simon Peter, an, a servant. A servant and an apostle of our Lord, of, of Jesus Christ, to those whom through righteousness. You see that word again? Whom through righteousness of our God and our Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith. As precious as ours. This man is saying something here that's very important. I've received a faith that is as precious as ours. The quality of the faith that we operate by should not be determined by the environment, by the religious system of the day, but should be defined and be determined by the apostolic structure, amen, that has been laid for us. To those who through righteousness, who through the righteousness of God, and our Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours. Is your faith precious? If your faith is precious, amen, then you will treat it as one. If you have something that is precious, you don't throw it around. You don't joke with it. You don't play with it, amen. You don't, you know, just, you know, make jest of it. The way you treat something precious, Alia, proves indeed that that thing is precious. Hallelujah. To those who through, through the righteousness of our God and of our Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours. Grace and peace to you. That is what we should be seeing. Amen. For those, through those who have received this precious faith. It's a grace and peace. Amen. Be us in abundance. What am I saying? In this new day, in this new month, I'm proclaiming and I'm declaring into your life, into your space, into your home, into your family, amen, that grace and peace in abundance be us. Powerful truth, amen, two spiritual hallelujah, resource that we all need. Grace and peace. In grace, there are all kinds of things that God, amen, manifests into your life. His peace tells you that no matter the high water you're going through, amen, you will not drown. Jesus is the, is the prince of peace. So there are all kinds of peace out there, amen, that does not match up to, amen, the peace that Jesus gave. Jesus said, my peace I give to you. Not like the world gives it. In this world, you're going to have tribulation, persecution. Paul said, we are persuaded that there is nothing. That word again, persuaded. I'm talking about, amen, warring a good warfare. Warfare begins with the state of your mind regarding the counsel of God. Oh. Your warfare, earlier is not running around. It's not pacing around. It's not jumping from pillar to post. It's not looking for all kinds of, you know, people to pray for you. You know, no, 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 no. Warfare is the state of your mind regarding, hallelujah, the promises of God, regarding the counsel of God. God will, God will, God will keep in peace those whose heart, mind, are stayed on him. Is your mind stayed on God? Or are you just saying that, but your mind is all over the place? You've got to learn to know how to rest in God. But you see, you cannot rest in God if you are not walking in righteousness. Because you, 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 you don't want to stay. The reason why a lot of people cannot, you know, you know stay and enjoy the presence of God is because amen, their mind, their heart is all over the place. To those who through righteousness of our God and of our Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours, grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are warring a good warfare. Hallelujah. Yes, grace and peace comes through the knowledge, amen, of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to, amen, verse 3. His divine power, his divine power, his divine ability, his divine, hallelujah, capacity, competence, his divine grace, his divine skill, his divine power has 
given to us, not will give to us, not someday might give to us, has already given it. You have to know these things. These things are already given. They are established. Amen. They are locked within your innermost being. Is divine power. Not just some power earlier that come from some, you know, a, a religious system. You know, some group of God knows who. Amen. Not a power that comes through. Amen. The political system of your day or the economic system of your day. God's divine power has given to us everything we need. This scripture sounds as if it's contradicting, <laughs> you know, reality. No, no, no. I told you. God has given to us. He's locked on the inside. But if you're not aware of it, if you're not persuaded about it, if you're not en engaging it, if you're not saying it, if you're not declaring it, amen, if you're not proclaiming it, amen, if you're not trusting, amen, what God has declared, you see, if you don't read the word of God, you don't know what has been given to you. If you don't study the word of God, you don't know how to live life. You don't know how to engage. Somebody will come up with all kinds of words. They will come up with all kinds of policy, with all kinds of ideologies, with all kinds of ungodly, perverted culture, amen, and they will shape and determine, amen, the outcome of your life. In fact, they will cause you to die before your time because amen you are not engaging in God's word Bible says according to his divine power he has given to us everything we need amen for a godly life you want to live a godly life there is provision for that provision has been made for a godly life through our knowledge amen of him of who God amen who called us by his own glory and goodness through those amen he has given us every Bible says through this, he has given to us every great and precious promises, so that through them, amen, you may participate, hallelujah, in the divine nature, hallelujah, having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desire. Where is your desire? What do you desire? What are you pursuing? I told you, the issue is in the mind. Cast down imagination. And every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. Believe God to resource you to maintain a lifestyle that will continually feed, amen, from the fruit of the tree of life. This is a word for somebody. Believe God to resource you that will continue to help you to feed, amen, from that dimension of a life called the fruit of the tree of life. Desire, ask God to place in you. An unquenchable desire, hallelujah, for his ways, for his mind, for his will, for his intention. Don't be, don't be t a touch and go Christian. You come and go, come and go, come and go. Learn to stay, abide. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, then you will ask for anything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let me round up with a scripture that triggered this engagement. Timothy, my son, Paul said, I am giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies I'm giving you this command. It's a command. It's not, su it's not a suggestion. You notice the way our brother, bro brother Paul, amen, engaged, build, mentor Timothy. <clears throat> Today when you give people a command based on the word of God, they'll tell you to be quiet. They'll tell you, no, you said your own thing. How far do you want to go? How far do you want to come? How far do you want to walk with God? People want to walk with God from afar. You, you get what you had desire. Timothy, my son, they called him. He didn't give birth to him biologically. But he was one of the people, Paul said, I've travailed in birth until Christ be formed in you. <laughs> That's what we understand by spiritual mentorship. We have the responsibility to form and 
shape God's prophetic counsel in those heaven has committed into our hands. That's what I do. All of the people that I am mentoring every day, as I pray for my family, my biological family, I pray for each of them by name. I mention them by name. They are under my, my, my spiritual radar. I lead them in the green pasture. I guide them. I steer their heart to move towards a direction of God's prophetic counsel for their life. My intention is, will never be to take advantage of them, but to bring them to a place of divine arrival. Timothy, my son, I am giving to you this command in keeping to the prophecy prophecies once made about you so that amen by recalling them by recalling them by recalling them you call them to mind there are prophecies that have been given there have been there are prophecies that have been given over my life amen that i am daily i daily recall them you 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 recall them how do you recall them earlier in the place of prayer by meditation amen by speaking about them by talking about them amen to yourself amen and to anyone around you that you know are mature are willing amen don't recall them to people amen who are seeking your downfall who are seeking amen to that when you talk about spiritual thing or things that bother your heart about you know around them they just they just look at you it's like you're, you're speaking to a, a brick wall they, they, they have nothing to contribute. Don't, don't recall things like that around them because they will discourage you. Yes, there are people, amen, within our life, within our space, amen, who are, who are designed to spiritually discourage us. Particularly if you're not mature enough, amen, to, 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 you know, to absorb, amen, their, their, their discouragement. If you're not, don't, don't share. Look for people that you know, amen. Have your spiritual interest. There are people who have your who have some interest about your life, but they don't have a spiritual interest. They're not interested, amen, in going on with God with you. They're not interested, amen, in following the path of the of the of you know of, of the spirit. They are not interested, amen, in sacrificing in that which defines and determines, amen. That 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 spiritual vision, amen. Going on with God. No, they are not interested. They want to stay, they want to live, amen, in their comfort zone. There is nothing comfortable about the things of the spirit. You will pray at odd, odd hours. God will lead you into all kinds of things. God will bring all kinds of situations, people around you. If those people, amen, cannot relate with what God is doing, leave them to be where they are. Because if you try to engage them, you'll be more discouraged. You know why you get discouraged? Because you expect, you expect them to be able to do, to know better. And that's the point that I was making, amen, in our teaching regarding, amen, marriage. That if you marry someone, amen, that you do not have the same spiritual flair, the same spiritual passion, the same spiritual hunger, amen, that can be very difficult in going on with God. Why? Because their life, amen, becomes an hindrance to the projection, to the advancement, to the intentions of God. Not just for your life, but even for the marriage. You share, amen, Passion with people, amen, who have the same spiritual hunger, who have the same spiritual thirst. For those that are single, never marry someone you cannot share your, 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 your spiritual passion with. No matter what you share, you can share money, you can have children together, you can have all of those things. But if you cannot share spiritual passion together, listen to this. One day, you will get tired and frustrated. Is it that that person leaves or you leave? Because there's nothing as deadly, there's nothing as, as destructive, hallelujah, as not having the same spiritual passion in terms of, you know, visionary advancement. What are you going to be talking about? Remember last month we were supposed to deal with the issues of marriage, sex, communication, and money. Hopefully this, this month God will give me the grace to talk about it. Our money must be around, amen, the values of our visionary assignment, amen. Our passion, our communication must be around. We, sh we, we, we share, earlier. We, we, we give, amen. We speak around our passion. Why? Because that's what God designed the relationship for. 
Is it? As it is, amen, in the natural realm, so it is. When I mean natural, I'm talking about homes. So it is, hallelujah, in our spiritual work. I, I, I'm, I'm somebody who have very, very few, in fact, maybe I'll count one or two, three friends that I have. Friends. I've got a lot of acquaintance. In fact, <laughs> I'm not sure if I actually have somebody I can say a true friend now. I've got a lot of acquaintance in my life. And of course, the, 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 the degrees of the acquaintance differs. There are those that are, you know, 30% 30, 30 acquaintance with me. So some that are 60%. There are those that are, you know, above average. You understand? Yes. But I relate with all of them. But to say I've got a, a friend. You know, a friend you can share. Amen. Your weakness, your fear, your doubt, amen. Your, 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 your anxiety, amen. You know, your expectation, your dreams, your vision, you can share. No, uh -uh. And that's, 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 that's okay because God has a way of dealing with us, amen. And moving on with him. Doesn't have to be like that, but that is part of God's program, amen. So that, amen, you don't put your trust in the arm of flesh. Are you getting the point that I'm making? You're not at, you are not at, you are not at disadvantage. And not because those people also are bad. No, it's because of how God is dealing with you. How God is preparing and prepping you for something, amen, beyond, listen to this. If, 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 jo if Joseph had allowed, amen, you know, the condition, the environment, and his family background, and all of the things happen, happening around him to, you know, to cage him, to block his mind, he would never have been able to fulfill God's prophetic intention for his life. You meant it to be evil, but God turned it around. Stop looking, amen, for people to, to, to strengthen you, to encourage you. If they are not there, they are not there, hallelujah. But if God has placed somebody in your life, amen, that, that, that watches over your spiritual development, amen, never feel ashamed, amen, to open up and say, this is what is happening to me. This is what I'm going on. Listen to this. This is what is going on in my life. No matter how terrible, how bad that situation is, they may, they may rebuke you, they may correct you, they may chastise you, but they will never leave you alone. Because they represent, hallelujah, the formation and the building of God's program for your life. That's the truth. You'd be surprised of what people tell me. Never use it against them. Never use it against them. Never. Never. Because my position is to build them. Is to encourage them. Why? He said, Timothy, my son, He's talking about the spiritual son. Remember, I'm no one that preaches, you know, uh, you know, you must have spiritual son. I've got a lot of people that I've raised up spiritually. But you hardly hear me and say, that's my spiritual son. That's my spiritual daughter. No, no. Because uh, every son knows his father. Every father knows their son. You don't need to announce it. <clears throat> you don't need to announce it. And there are people following us. Amen. Ooh, they love what we're talking about. But that's it. They don't want you... You know, into their life. And there are people who want, who want, amen, you in their life. And I say, sorry, I can't be in your life because this is it. I'm not called to do that. I still spoke to somebody not too long ago about that. It doesn't work like that. We have to understand the ways of God, the will of God, the counsel of God. Timothy, my son, there is a grace alea, that flows. There's an unction that flows from one, amen, that God has placed, amen, to accelerate, to increase, to develop your life, amen. When that person speaks into your life, amen, the way you accelerate, alea, it's more pronounced, more engaging than just, you know, feeding from everybody and hearing from everybody. I mean, that's for somebody. Timothy, my son, I am giving to you this command in keeping with the prophecies. I wonder how many prophecies were in the life of Timothy. But of course we saw, amen, that this guy, I mean, he, he, he was in his own right, he was an apostle. This is somebody who pastored the church of Ephesus. Think about it. When you look at all the, you know, the, 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 the writings of, of Paul, <laughs> The, 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 the one he did in, in Ephesus seemed to, I mean, of course, all of them are powerful, but I mean, if, if you talk about growing, developing, working in the dimensions of the things of the Spirit, the church of Ephesus, amen, was a point, a place, amen, where Paul, and the reason why Paul was able to release such grace is because, amen, of the openness of, of Timothy, you see, you see, 
the way we function within a realm, within a geographical, you know, uh, uh, metron, amen, it depends on how open, amen, the leadership, the spiritual leadership in that area is, amen. If, if, if you go to a place where people, yes, they, they, they welcome you, they invite you, but they are not truly open, Alia, to what you have brought. There's so much you can do. It's the same thing, amen, in the life of people that are close to us. There are places you go, people say, don't hold back. Speak as the Lord will lead you. If you want to correct, correct. If you want to rebuke, rebuke. Whatever you want to do. But don't leave us the way we are. Whatever the Lord, because they trust in you. You see, we have to trust the spirit of, of those that God is raising in this last day. So we're going to say, come let us pray. You know, yesterday night, late hours, I was almost calling Saturday and say, hey guys, let's pray. I just said to myself, no, this will be sleeping as that. Leave them to sleep. Sometimes we need to do that. Wake them up. 1 a.m. Get up. Let's pray. Pray with me. What are you doing? You're training their spirit. That's not, that's not some religious thing. You're training the, their spirit. You're building something in them. I don't care even if they wait to sleep. Amen. 11. 1 a.m. Get up. Pray. Hallelujah. Father, we honor your name. We glorify your name. We exalt you. We thank you, Father, for the revelation of your heart, of your mind. Timothy, my son, I am giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies once, hallelujah, given to you, once released into your life, once made about you. It says that you may recall them so that you can fight a good warfare. Father, we thank you. Honor and glory, praise and majesty unto you, Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord, that your word will never return to you empty, void. Your word will never return to you unproductive. I thank you, Lord, that as we step into the month of, of, of August, we step, oh God, with victory. We step into victory. We step, oh God, yes, out of our mind. We step out of how we engage life, yes, last month. We step into a new day of favor, into a new position of, of conquering, yes, of a conqueror. We thank you. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. We thank you, Lord, that our faith speaks better things. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, that we have a faith that is built on righteousness, and we go forth, oh God, as we engage the kings of the earth, as we engage engage the kings of Babylon. We proclaim and we declare that Christ is our Lord giver. His name is exalted. We proclaim victory in the camp. Lord be glorified in our lives. Be exalted. Have your way. Rule and reign Master Jesus. Thank you Father for opening the portal. Thank you Lord that we enter into the abundance of your glory. Yes of your blessing of your favor we step into the day of our inheritance we call for the things that be enough as though they were we thank you father for fulfillment yes peace and grace he said may may grace and peace be multiplied to you we thank you father we proclaim it we declare it we decree it in jesus name we enter into this month oh god declaring and proclaiming that we are healed restore we are blessed renew revive awaken in jesus name our heart our soul our body longs for yearns for seek for the will of god the ways of god may your will prosper in our life may your ways oh god yes in the name of jesus be, become the direction that we follow in jesus name we will not follow the wrong path we will not go the way of the flesh we will not yield oh god to what destroys to what kills to what neutralizes. yes our spiritual journey father we continue to steer we continue to yes steer to flame we continue to steer this grace this gifting we continue to call to remembrance in the name of jesus Jesus, the prophetic word, hallelujah, that has been spoken over our life, even from our mother's womb. Every prophetic intention, program, 
Lord, that you have given to us that we are yet to fulfill. We steer them. We remind ourselves. We remind ourselves. We remind ourselves in the name of Jesus. We steer them up. We declare in Jesus' name that we will not die. As, as Simeon said, my eyes will not see death until I have seen the consolation of Israel. We proclaim this morning that our eyes shall not see death until we are fulfilled, until we have come into the full reality of that which God, amen, has promised us, until we have come into that arena where we take full delivery, where we procure the things that God has given to us. Th thank you, Father, this morning that we are receiving in the name of Jesus the keys of your kingdom and we begin to access new realms new height new position we begin to climb we take over in the name of jesus we recover we proclaim that it is well with us in jesus name we proclaim that it is well with us in jesus name we break through we break barriers uh, we break limitation mental barriers uh, we break them in the name of jesus we we advance into the full reality of god's will father thank you for this ministry grace to grace thank you father for breakthrough over this ministry. Thank you Father for provision in the name of Jesus. Sustainance. Thank you Father for that which yes we have begun this project. Oh God it shall be fulfilled. It will be accomplished in the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for the things that you're doing. Thank you Father for equipment oh God to broadcast your heart your mind. The field indeed is white ready for harvest. Father thank you God that we are ready in the name of Jesus. Continue to steer our heart oh God. Give us oh God a higher vision oh God. Yes Lord of the field uh, in the name of Jesus technology Lord new technology to advance here yeah, apostolic technology uh, thank you father thank you Lord for grace to go forth uh, in the name of Jesus uh, to break barriers to break limitation grace to enter into new territory thank you father for new platforms uh, thank you father for men and women coming to here to to receive and to be changed uh, transformation is taking place uh, reformation is taking place uh, in the name of Jesus uh, thank you Lord this morning uh, the people are being restore. Thank you, Father, for renewal. Thank you, Father, for revival in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your word. It's been quickened. We advance. We move further. And we come to the place of the fulfillment of your intention. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your glory, for your fame and glory. Oh, hallelujah. Take your place. Have your way. Lord, I pray for everyone that have joined us this morning. And those that will be listening later or watching. May you continue to release your grace and goodness as they continue to uh, uh, grow in the knowledge of this spiritual uh, declaration. As they continue to saturate their place, their atmosphere. As they continue to pray this thing into their spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that indeed, oh God, they will they will procure, they will receive, yes, Lord, the reward, oh God, of their obedience. I thank you, Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Obedience, 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 obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. May you continue to live your life in divine obedience. May the will of God continue to prosper in your life. May God's counsel for your life not be aborted. May you not be tired, but may you grow from strength to strength, from grace to grace. May Christ be formed in you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Honor and glory to you, Lamb of God. Holy Spirit, I thank you for the things that you have done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you so very much, everyone, this morning uh, for, for joining us. I, I want to believe God, amen, that the things that we have proclaimed and declared have, have reshaped, amen, the topography, amen, of your space. I believe that the things that we have proclaimed, amen, has brought you into a new day, into a new arena. I believe, amen, that the spiritual reality of this word right now is directing your path, is, is leading you for, further to that place, amen, where God's intention, purpose, and desire, amen, for your life in every sphere is becoming a reality. God bless you. Continue to live, amen, in the prosperity of this word that has been declared. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that has proceed, that is proceeding from the mouth of God. This is a proceeding word, friends, and I know it will continue to do you good. So thank you so very much once again for joining. Please don't forget, amen, to share, to like, amen, and of course to drop a comment if you can. And if you have not, amen, subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. Please do. And we believe God for great things, amen. Please do follow us on YouTube, follow us, amen, on Facebook, and um, 
and of course on our word press you can listen to our teachings and of, of also read our articles on WordPress. Thank you. God bless you. Have yourself a prosperous day. Bye bye. And of course, a prosperous Amen month. God bless you. Thank you. Bye bye. Love you all. <laughs>